Hello there, could you help me buy this pineapple? Sorry, no, no time. Thank you. Hello, friend. Hi. Listen, I need someone to buy this pineapple from me because I need to get some meds for my little girl. Ooh, how much is it? Well, I don't know. They're about 50 pesos, but anything you want to give me is okay. That would be really helpful. Mm, I only have 20 pesos on me. If you want to help me, I would thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yes. Really? Here um, you go. They told me it's a really good pineapple. <laughs> a lady gave it to me in the hospital while I was visiting my little girl. For me to eat, but my priority is money, you know, for the medicines. Of course, I understand. Look, how about you keep the pineapple and someone else can sell it and you keep the 20 as well, you know? No, no, no. I would not. You're paying for it. Yes, of course. Please do take it. Really? Yes, it's on me. So kind of you. I've got an idea because I don't want to feel bad about this. Um, is it okay if we split it in half and you keep your half? And I can sell the other half. What do you think? Is that okay? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, let me just... Uh, I'm pretty sure that I could find a knife around here somewhere. And I'll be right back, okay? So... Uh, okay, yeah. Yes, let's do just that. Just wait for me and then we'll, we'll cut it open and we'll do that, okay? Be right back. It's done. Hey. Yeah, I got it. A lady lent it to me. Oh, good. Uh, I'm sorry if I took too long. No, not at all. Don't worry about it. Uh, are you sure? Do you have time for this? Am I interrupting you? Um, I mean, I was gonna go get my kid, but she can wait. She's with my parents right now. Oh, you also have a little girl. <laughs> yeah, I do. You're too young. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I mean, you don't want to say anything. No, no, about no that. that's okay. Don't worry about it. But yeah, I had her pretty young. Yeah, you look really young. But you tell me, what's up with your kid? Look, she's got several complications. How old is she? She, she's two. Two? She has to face all of this, being young. Yes, I. Yeah, she's very small. Well, my kid is already five. Oh, she's she's five older. years old. Yes, and back at my parents, I have some toys and some clothing, some things that she already grew out from. So tell me, in which hospital are you guys, and I can take you some uh, things there. No. Would you do that for me? Yes, of course. That's not so a problem. Kind of you. Clothing and toys my are God. not really new, but we also have another. A small child who's a neighbor but we gave her some things but I always take good care of things and I always try to keep them in good shape and I know they'll be useful for your kid ah, that's so kind of you she's gonna be really happy because she's getting new clothes and toys and that's gonna <laughs> cheer her up you know because she's gonna get a huge smile on her face and all thanks to you, you're not only helping me by buying the pineapple, you're giving half of it to me, <laughs> and you want to help me in other ways too. That's what we're here for, you know. I'll scratch your back, you'll scratch mine, of course. Well, you've got an amazing heart. Is it okay if I <clears throat> cut the pineapple? Yeah, sure, go for it. All right, then. I'm gonna cut it. And, um, and this side, I'm gonna cut it. <clears throat> what do you think? Is here okay? I'm around this point? Yeah, yeah, fine by me. All right. Whatever suits you. It's really hard. It's really hard. Well... So nice of you to help me, but uh, can I ask you, um, how are you and your boyfriend or husband doing 
by having a baby so young? Uh, that would only be me because um, he didn't struggle at all. What do you mean? Is he from a wealthy family or, or what? No, what I meant is that when my kid was born, he just disappeared. He was out of the picture. Are you serious? He just denied everything happened and he left me alone with her. Damn. It's so irresponsible from his part. Doing this to you. Honestly, he doesn't deserve any respect. Because what... What was going on through his head? Well, no, I mean... It's really on him. Like, I wish him well, whatever he is. Because after he denied everything and he didn't took any responsibility up until this day, he hasn't even tried to contact me or her. And you know, I've tried my best and I've done everything I could and I think we've done pretty well. Because I was alone and like not even my parents would help me back then. They told me like, well, that if I was old enough to get pregnant, I was old enough to be responsible for it and I just had to get out of my parents' house and I went out to rent something, I quit school, I just tried everything I could to make money and, you know, make it through with my kid. And you did it on your own? Damn. That really proves that you're a very strong woman. Yes. I mean, with God's mercy, really, and honestly, I have this neighbor who helped me a lot. She, she gave me this small place, some kind of establishment for us alone, right. and she helped me, and she's just been helping me and pushing me through, you know. And she didn't even charge me with rent or anything. What? Really? Not even like the courses we had. This is how. I've been able to make it through, you know? I've been selling stuff here and there, cooking things and selling them. Of course, that's amazing that God always blesses us with people along the way, like this, this woman who taught you how to work and that's amazing she didn't even charge you or anything. That's amazing. Yes, nothing, nothing at all. And, um... How is that job going? Are you doing enough money for you and your daughter? The bills? Are you paying rent? Well, I have a small room currently. My parents are helping me more a little. Maybe we have one out of three meals in their place. And but yeah, the salon is not like it's not a big money maker, but I just I, I have other side hustles, you know. I sell some stuff, I clean houses, I do everything I can, Damn. really. I, I sell cakes, I, I do everything I can, really. You can do it I all. I mean, I have to provide, you know, for me and my kid. Of course. Well, maybe I'm too curious, but um, you're telling me that your parents help you with food and or taking care of your daughter yes my kid well yeah I mean in the end my kid when she was born they adored her <laughs> you know so after a while they decided to I help mean you. yeah I've taken all of the responsibility and I think of course I have assumed it well but yeah I mean they made you strong right yeah I was yeah I grew to be stronger and uh, but yeah every once in a while we eat there I, I don't really care much about me, but about my kid, yeah. I want her to have everything or the best she can, you know? They are our priority, right? Yeah, everything is so expensive now, you know? You just, you sometimes make it meal by meal. Of course, yeah, I understand. And, well, in my case, they gave me this pineapple so I could eat. It was a very nice lady. She was quite older. And she was very kind. She she gave it to me because she's been there a few days and she noticed that I was always running around with not, nothing to eat, talking to doctors. 
And getting some food in the middle of all that is complicated. But um, being short on money is stronger than, than hunger. Thankfully, my daughter is fine. Right. Uh, I'm praying to God that God allows us to share some food together at home eventually, right? Um, yes, here's hoping. Yeah, you'll see that she'll be better soon. Yeah, just like you said, your kids become your number one thing on your list. Of course. Listen, and did you study something on hairdressing or what was I it? didn't study. I mean, I did learn like this neighbor. I told you she taught me. But no, I had to quit school oh. and because, you know, ever since I was very little, I wanted to be a nurse. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, specifically because I wanted to help people. And also because, well, since I had my kid when I was very young, it was a very complicated birth. You know, she, she had some lungs issues when she was born. And that was part of me saying that, yeah, they didn't give her to me right away. But yeah, they had her there for a little while. And that also made me decide that at any given time, like at any point in my life, if given the chance, I would end school. You know, I have to finish high school and then go to college, of course. Look, you have dedicated the necessary time for your daughter. Yes. I understand. And... We do anything for our kids. For real. And look, I believe that um, the few moments I've talked to you, uh, you would like to hear that you shouldn't lose faith. Faith is really important. Mm. I'm sure that dreams come true. If we have enthusiasm, love, faith, we, we can make it through. I know that my daughter will get better, that she's gonna go with me, and she's gonna go home with me, right? Yes, you'll see. It's gonna happen soon, and trust me, I will keep you on my prayers. Thank you. Thank you. So you can have it a little bit easier, and for your child to get better. Thank you. And yeah, I totally understand, you know, God works in mysterious ways. Of course. Uh, could you help me holding the pineapple so I can cut yeah, it? Yeah, sure. Open. There we go. What's that? What? There's... Huh? This? What? What? What is it? It's a rosary. It's so pretty. Yeah, right? Look at it. How... How did that get in there? I don't know. Miracle. Did you put it there? No, no, no. It wasn't me. I think God manifests himself in different ways. You saw it. It was in there. It must be a, a sign of God for us telling us that everything is going to be okay that maybe some situations are when they get difficult he makes himself present and helps us be strong right well but i mean it's yours i'm gonna give it to you so you can take it to your child and you know you know it was your pineapple after all no 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 don't worry about it i'm gonna share something with you that makes me feel a little embarrassed but what? Okay. I I haven't been quite honest with you, and well, I'm I'm embarrassed, but um, I did put the rosary in there, even if I said I didn't. But uh, it's because uh, I, through the hand of God, I have been touched by Him, and. This is a social experiment that I'm doing in his name now. And I'm looking for people who might be willing to help me. And look, I have met you. I met all the people, but no, they were not willing to help me. And thank God. Please, please, please don't get angry at me. Mm, 
I don't have a daughter. She's not sick. I'm fine. I'm healthy. I got everything I need. I don't have any needs. Okay? My job allows me to do this. And I'm fine. So, I take that as a blessing to be able to do these kind of experiments with people. I'm sure you can understand. Uh, this this is a gold chain, the rosary. You can sell it. And maybe you can help yourself with that money. It's like um it's like a symbol for me to you from me to you because you are a believer in God. That's the way I do it. He's always present. Um, as I said, this is a social experiment. I ran into you, you were willing to help me. Part of this experiment, of course, well, uh, it, it's it's a two-part price, okay? I, w I always like to reward people who are helpful to me. In this case, you are the winner. One of those prizes, well, is in, is in your hands right now. This is to remind you always that God is present whenever we need Him. And you also told me that you have some needs at home with your daughter and you're looking for a way to fix them and that you have been looking for a way with faith and listen I I would like to give you a second prize and it's this And in that second price, I need your help again. Because we need to find that second price. Yeah, let's do it. To do that, I'm going to place the pineapple here. I need you. Well, inside of the pineapple, you're going to find something that will help you to return to the path of making your dream come true okay of taking a break financially at home with your daughter and uh, if you want we just need to break the stalk of the pineapple so you can see what I'm talking about all right can you help me yes yeah, sure all right so I'm gonna hold it here. And you're gonna pull it, okay? Okay. But 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 but. <sighs> wait wait wait! Don't get ahead of yourself. When we count at three, okay? Okay. Do you wanna help me count? Sure, yeah. No no no. Let's count okay. at the same time. Okay. One, One two, two, three. Three. Is this for real? It's for real. Is this for me? That's yours. It's for your daughter. So you can both make it through. For a while, at least. Look. Thank you so much. No, thank you. <laughs> for showing me that good people are still present they do exist and with the help of God I was able to do this experiment to help you and your daughter it does really it does thank you oh God thank you so much really I hope you get this ten times back you know, in blessings and for you, for your family, for everyone around you. No, thank you. Thank you for your words, for having that amazing heart and take care of yourself, take care of your daughter and you will see that with your strength, she, well, both of you will always be okay. Thank you. I only need uh, you to promise me something. Well, to promise it to yourself. 
okay? Promise me that you will make your dreams come true and that you're gonna become a nurse so you can help those people who need your support. I will. I hope that I can run into you further in life and to see you be being successful. Thank you okay. so much, really. No, thank you. You have no idea how and much. And have I a great day. This. I'm leaving. Take Thanks. care. You too. Bye. Bye.